good afternoon. On behalf of the Fort Ligonier Days Committee, I would like to welcome you to the 56th annual Fort Ligonier Days celebration. My name is Anna Welts and I am the Executive Director of the Ligonier Valley Chamber of Commerce. I, along with Bill Stabline and Jack McDowell, co-chairman of this event, would like to thank our 2015 Fort Ligonier Days sponsors. Presenting sponsor, Erie Insurance. Parade sponsor, Smail Auto Group. Our fireworks sponsor, Commercial Bank and Trust. Event sponsors, Cleveland Brothers. Laurel Highlands Visitors Bureau. Trib Total Media, WTAJ. Direct TV, Everdry Waterproofing. Home Solutions. Keystone Basement Systems, Leaf Filter, Ligonier Giant Eagle, Luther P. Miller, Mid-Atlantic Waterproofing, Renewal by Anderson, Soft Tub, Somerset Trust Company, UPMC Health Plan, Bailey Insurance, First Energy Foundation, Jandy Montgomery and Scott, and the Latrobe Area Charitable Foundation, Latrobe Area Hospital Charitable Foundation. The Ligonier Valley has a legacy rich in history. We welcome and encourage our visitors to return to Ligonier and enjoy all that our town has to offer. Our unique specialty shops, restaurants, bed and breakfasts, scenic outdoors, and historic sites make it a worthwhile, make it worthwhile to return throughout the year. This year's theme is Pages from the Ages. Please pick up an official program from the information booth and read all about the wonderful activities we have in store for you this weekend. A couple of highlights. Tonight, Jeff Jimerson and Airborne will perform at 5.30 on the bandstand. And tomorrow night, Phil Dirt and the Dozers will perform at 6.30. We'll end Saturday evening with fireworks at approximately 8.45 p.m. And shuttles will be available after both shows. Thank you to Peggy Sheckler and Tom Stabline. A fantastic parade starts tomorrow at 11 a.m. Led by Grand Marshal retired K-9 Officer Black, this, year, this year's parade includes three very talented regional high school bands, Butler, Franklin Regional, and Morgantown, as well as numerous antique vehicles, colonial reenactors, Pittsburgh Dad, Punxsutawney Phil, the Big Banana Car, and so much more. Also, a full slate of living history programs are scheduled at Fort Ligonier. You don't want to miss the battle reenactments and artillery demonstrations held throughout the weekend. And now, Pastor Josh Ricketts of Calvary United Methodist Church in Ligonier will offer an opening prayer. Will you pray with me? God, we thank you for this day and for the opportunity to celebrate in festival and with fun. God, we ask your blessing upon this weekend that it will be an enjoyable time for all that will be safe and that will just be able to spend time with friends and family, meet new people, and have a wonderful time celebrating this wonderful weekend that we have together. God, we thank you for your blessings, and we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Please stand for the raising of our flag by the Ligonier Valley Honor Guard. The national anthem will be performed by Tara Lynch Stemfer. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave.
Thank you so much, Tara. Incredibly talented. It takes many dedicated people and organizations to make this festival what it is. And we would like to recognize some of those people who work very hard to make this a safe weekend for all of us. Our thanks go to the Westmoreland County Department of Public Safety, the Ligonier and Laurel Valley Ambulance Services, Excella Health, Ligonier Borough and Ligonier Township Police, the Ligonier Valley Fire Companies, Civil Air Patrol, and other service units in the Valley for their dedication and service to our community and our country. And now, Ligonier's Mayor, Mr. Butch Bellis. Welcome, everybody. Here's my proclamation for today. The town of Ligonier welcomes all of us to help celebrate this Fort Ligonier Days as we recognize our fort's 257 years along the banks of the Lawhanna Creek. We are in the pages of this country's history. During the Seven Years' War, General John Forbes decided to build a fort on the Lawhanna Creek, halfway between Raystown and Fort Duquesne, in preparation to drive the French out of North America. On October 12, 1758, when the British forces repelled the French and Indian forces from Fort Ligonier, the British went on to drive the French out of North America. Our town grew up outside the fort that was named for Lord Ligonier, and the town became an important part of the frontier that was later to become the United States of America. We honor the very beginnings of our great nation and pay homage to the brave men, women, and children of colonial America during the French and Indian War, whose great fortitude and perseverance in the face of untold dangers gave us our love of country and eventual independence. Now therefore, I, Orman K. Bellis, Mayor of the Borough of Ligonier, do hereby proclaim this weekend in October as our time in history and urge all citizens to join with me to celebrate this year of our good fortune to live in this great nation. In witness whereof, I do hereby set my hand and cause a corporate seal of the Borough of Ligonier to be fixed this October 9, 2015. Thank you. It is with great pleasure that I now introduce you the new Miss Ligonier, Sarah Mead and her court, first runner-up, Sarah Barkowski, and second runner-up, Haley Podhosh. Miss Ligonier is sponsored by the Rotary Club of Ligonier, and will she will reign over Fort Ligonier Days and other events throughout the year. And now, Miss Ligonier. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Fort Ligonier Days. Uh, my name is Sarah Mead, and I am proud to be Miss Ligonier 2015. What a beautiful day to kick off this fantastic event. Uh, as you already know, on October 12th in 1758, a key battle of the French and Indian War was fought right here in our backyard. And this will be the 56th anniversary or celebration of the fort and its history. Uh, I've never experienced a greater sense of community than I do living in Ligonier. And I'm so glad that through Fort Ligonier Days we can share that with everyone. So please eat, shop, enjoy yourselves, and have a good time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. And now we'll turn the program over to Mr. Ralph Bennett and Mr. Charles Fagan, trustees of Fort Ligonier, and a very special guest for us, Chief Ada Kula Kula. Hi, everybody. Ligonier. There's a fort here, but it's not, it wasn't just a defensive fort. This was an offensive fort. When it appeared suddenly in the wilderness, well, one of the results is that we're speaking in English, not French. Please remember, Fort Ligonier and Ligonier made Pittsburgh possible because it was from here that when the, when the French realized that the amount of artillery that had been dragged over that mountain and was parked here at Fort Ligonier, when they realized the force arrayed against them, they got in their boats and blew up Fort Duquesne and headed down the Ohio River. So we are part of a great flow of American history. And now in that connection, I'd like to introduce my fellow trustee and really trustee emeritus of Fort Ligonier, who sometimes when the winds of history blow through this valley 
appears as Colonel Pollock, and he has a special guest to introduce you to. I always find it difficult to follow one of the great historians of this region. He always has something interesting to communicate. I am here as one of the trustees, actually I'm here as Charlie Fagan at the moment. Uh, I'm here as one of the trustees of Fort Ligonier to welcome all of you to the fort on behalf of the trustees and certainly on behalf of the staff, many of whom I see in front of me here this morning, or I guess this afternoon. If you wish to see Colonel Pollock, he might also be at the fort this afternoon as well. The fort this afternoon will offer its artillery demonstrations at 1.30 and 3.30, and we'll have the battle demonstrations at 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock. We also have a special guest, a writer, uh, a Mr. Wolf, Matt Wolf, who will sign copies of his book about uh, Colonel Bouquet. Those of you that have interest in the history will be interested in meeting him. But I especially wish to introduce our honored and distinguished guest for this weekend at the fort, by telling you how he arrived here. This gentleman is a Cherokee Indian. He is a chief of the Cherokee Indians, and he has just completed the conference at Easton, Pennsylvania, organized by the governor of Pennsylvania and General Forbes to treat with the Indians from the Ohio country to hope that they would uh, leave the French, which who had been there, their allies for many years and to join the British. They were successful in that mission. And my guest came across these mountains on the road built by General Forbes, which I believe he found to be quite poor, but he finally met General Forbes at Raystown, which we now call Bedford. And on the 25th of October, General Forbes sent him forward to meet with his friends here at Ligonier that were completing the building of the fort. He also sent a, an express rider to ride ahead of, of the Indian party that was moving westward to be certain that the chief was greeted with a seven-gun salute as befits his honorable status as the peace chief of the Cherokee Nation. We will welcome him this afternoon and I hope you will welcome now the Peace Chief of the Cherokee Nation, Chief Atakulakula. Osio, Kali Elega Chichayanagara, Atakulakula Dagado. Hello, I'm very happy to be here, to see you all here. My name is Atakulakula. I portray the Peace Chief of the Cherokee Nation. For about 50 years in the 18th century, Atta Kulikula, also known as the Little Carpenter, led his nation through very trying times. In the midst of that, we fought many wars, including many wars to help protect the English from which this town has arisen. At that time, this town was the frontier of a bloody and hard-fought war, as well as settlement. The Cherokee came here to fight in just one of many wars in which we helped the English to fight against the Spanish down in Georgia and Florida, against the French in Louisiana Territory, Illinois Territory, and New El France, Canada Territory, in many different wars. Ten years before these events here, my character Atta Kulikala was held as prisoner of war in New El France in Canada for seven years during what was called King George's War. The Cherokee had fought many wars against the French with our English allies and trading partners. We had mixed our blood with our English allies and trading partners because since 1670, when Charleston, South Carolina was founded, all of the traders who brought trading goods to us was required to marry a Cherokee wife in order to trade with us. By 1730, we had generations of mixed blood children. When my character went to London to meet George II and make stronger the alliance, he was good enough at making this alliance strong that he was given another name, the Little Carpenter, because it was said just as a carpenter could join wood to make it fit well and build things like this fort out of wooden timbers, 
Atta Kalkala was able to build a very strong alliance between the English and Cherokee, so he was called the Little Carpenter because he could build such a strong alliance. The Cherokee in this war sent up to 1,000 Cherokee warriors back and forth to the Pennsylvania frontier, also down to Choctaw country around what's now Mississippi and into what's now Illinois. So we were constantly fighting, and even before this war began in 1754, Little Carpenter, my character, was leading war parties to Illinois country in 1751 and 52, and taking scalps back to Williamsburg in Virginia to present to the governor there, to show we were faithful to our word, because he had promised George II in London we would always love our English brothers and sisters, and that we were all one people made by the same Creator above. And it's a pleasure to see now that this town has prospered, become a pleasant, welcoming, and hospitable place. And I enjoyed dinner last night where I went to eat, and I hope to enjoy many more dinners or meals while I'm here visiting, and much more friendship like I have already received during my stay. Wadol Shkidi, my talk is finished. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I have one last announcement. We have a very special guest in the crowd today. If you think you saw Forrest Gump, you are correct. Forrest will be here throughout Fort Ligonier days and Sunday morning to kick off the kids' fun run, uh, and help, which is at the Ligonier Valley High School. He might even have some chocolate on hand. Thank you for coming, and please enjoy your weekend here in historic Ligonier.